Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you three super easy casseroles that I think your family will love. And by the way, I'm still carrying this little bundle of joy. Now let's go ahead and get started. This first recipe is a chicken and dumpling casserole. I seen my friend Mel from In the Kitchen with Mama Mel make this and I knew I had to try it. To begin, I placed four tablespoons of butter in my casserole dish and I put that in the oven to melt. For the dumplings, Mel used the Formula L biscuit mix, so I figured I'd do the same. This stuff already has tiny pieces of butter and shortening in it. So in a large measuring cup, I added one cup of that biscuit mix along with one cup of milk. Mix that until everything is well combined. Now set it to the side, we'll use it here in a minute. I grabbed my casserole dish out of the oven with that melted butter. And I think I forgot to mention, but this is a nine by 13. I sprinkled in about three cups of cooked shredded chicken. And on top of that, I added a little nature seasoning. Now on top of that chicken, you're gonna evenly drizzle that biscuit mixture we made up a little bit ago. And just so you know, I will have the recipe linked in the description box below. Okay, now I'm gonna push this casserole dish to the side and make up another mixture to pour over the top. I'm using that same measuring cup, that way I don't dirty any more dishes. I added two cups of chicken broth and one can of cream of chicken soup. Now whisk that together until everything is well combined. I post easy recipes like this all the time, so if that's something you're interested in, it would really mean a lot to me if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family here, and you'll get notified of all my future videos. And right here, I'm just taking that chicken broth and cream of chicken soup mixture and pouring it evenly over the top. And you might be tempted, but do not stir. Be very careful not to spill this and place it in a 400 degree oven, uncovered for 35 to 45 minutes. When that top starts to get golden brown, it is done. It may look a little liquidy at first, but after it sits for a bit, it really thickens up. We had this with some easy buttered corn on the side, and it was so delicious. This is a dinner that I will definitely be making again. This is another new to me recipe, a John Wayne casserole. I'm starting out by browning up one pound of ground beef, along with one small diced onion. Just break that up and let it cook until that ground beef is cooked through. And I did use a paper towel to soak up as much of that grease as I could. Next, you'll want to add in one packet of the taco seasoning mix. We like the mild kind. I also added in a can of mild diced tomatoes with green chilies. It's the same thing as Rotel. And a can of drained corn. Then I poured in about a fourth of a cup of water. Now stir that until everything's mixed together. After I got that mixed together, I let it sit there and simmer for a bit. And while that's simmering, I moved over to the counter to make the bottom layer of this casserole, which is a biscuit layer. In a large mixing bowl, I added three cups of Bisquick baking mix and one cup of water. Now you'll just mix that until it forms a dough. Set it to the side, and we're gonna make up our third and final mixture. In my bowl here, I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese, and to that, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of ranch seasoning. Or you could use Philadelphia chive and onion cream cheese instead. I also added half a cup of mayonnaise. Just mix that together, and it would have helped if my cream cheese was a little softer. I ended up getting rid of my spoon and breaking out that mixer. It was so much easier to mix it up this way. 
And when that's all well combined, we can assemble the casserole. Now to the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch casserole dish. I'm pouring in that biscuit mixture. It had a pretty wet consistency. I had a little trouble spreading it out, but after I switched to an offset spatula, it did just fine. Then on top of that biscuit layer, you're going to pour over that ground beef mixture. Spread it out and make sure it covers that bottom layer. And now over the top of that, I'm spooning that cream cheese and ranch topping. I used my offset spatula again for this and that did the job. Now I'm topping everything off with about two cups of shredded cheese. I'm using a mixture of cheddar and mozzarella. Now this goes into the oven to bake at 325 for about 40 minutes. It is better if you can let this sit for about 5 or 10 minutes before you serve it. It's a little easier to slice and serve that way. We topped ours with sour cream and taco sauce, but feel free to top this with anything you like. This turned out so, so good. I just can't believe I waited this long to try it. We loved all the different layers in this, and it was definitely a 10 out of 10. This last one is a tomato basil chicken casserole. It's a dump and go recipe, which is always a plus for me. I started out by spraying a 9 by 13 inch baking dish with nonstick spray. Then I poured in a 12 ounce box of uncooked bow tie pasta, along with a pound of boneless skinless chicken that I cut into bite sized pieces. I just wanted to spread that out a little before I added the rest. Now I'm adding in a can of Italian style petite diced tomatoes, and those were undrained. I'm also adding in a 24 ounce jar of pasta sauce. I wanted to make sure I got every last drop. Then you'll pour in a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Now I'm adding one and one fourth cups of chicken broth. For the seasonings, I'm adding three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, and one and a half teaspoons of dried basil. Now stir that around and make sure everything gets coated in that mixture. I pressed the pasta down to make sure it was completely submerged in that liquid. Then I covered it with foil and put it in the oven to bake at 400 for 45 minutes. After that, I took it out of the oven and remove that full. Be very careful with this so you don't burn yourself. Now I'm gonna give it a really good stir to make sure everything's mixed together well. That way everything gets cooked through. And I did try to press down on those noodles again. Now I'm topping this off with two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. Then I put it back into the oven to bake for an additional 15 minutes. This was so good and so easy to make. I kept it simple and served it with green beans, but it would also be really good with a side salad and garlic bread. My whole family loved this one. It was delicious. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more easy recipes and I will see you in the next one.